and more messages we need to speak to. And, and the other is this idea of saturated fat. Uh, so many people in society today, in fact, that, you know, you keep hearing every, all these observational studies keep coming out, you know, don't eat meat, don't eat eggs. And I say, didn't we do the RCTs? Didn't we do the randomized controlled trials? So why are we even bothering with these poorly done uh, food frequency questionnaire studies, right? Mm-hmm. Looking at data, and 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 clearly they only show associational correlation, uh, and they're not really strong evidence. So talk a little bit about this fear of saturated fat because you can't eat carnivore if you're afraid of saturated fat. Just explain that so that people won't fear that. Yeah, I mean, there's just there's such a weight of inertia behind this going back, you know, to you know 1977 USDA declaration that cholesterol causes heart disease and, and saturated fat increases cholesterol. Therefore, saturated fat is bad. But you know, saturated fat is actually a very important uh, nutrient. You know, we talk about you know, essential fatty acids, and uh, a lot of these come from saturated animal fats. Um, mm-hmm. Fat makes the animal kingdom go around, really. By and large, animals run on saturated fat, even herbivores. You know, we think that they eat this fibrous plants and that then and they get the constituent you know, molecules in that fibrous plant, but they but they actually don't. They sort of more like cultivate bacteria in their intestines, like ruminants, uh, will 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 cultivate these bacteria that will eat the fiber for, for their own use, and then their waste is actually short chain fatty acids which are 100% saturated. And that's what the ruminant or the cow or the animal actually absorbs. So there's a difference between what they eat and what they absorb. So they're eating fibrous plants, but they're absorbing saturated fat. And then when those bacteria die off, they get broken down and they get absorbed and they get protein from that as well. So it's actually a high fat, high protein diet as well. Um, carnivores, obviously they're eating animals with fat on them and they go for the fat first. And so that, and it's a very important uh, a survival nutrient. You, you really need that. So, you know, it, it doesn't, does not follow that we would be an, an animal, basically the only animal that saturated fat would be bad for. You know, I, I don't, I don't know of any other examples uh, besides humans that people have even suggested this. So it really comes from that declaration that cholesterol is, is bad and saturated fat increases cholesterol. And, and, you know, this has actually been thoroughly debunked. It's not even, well, we have some studies that say this, like, no, we, we have historical documentation showing that the original studies and the, even the 1977 declaration from the USDA were, were bought and paid for by the sugar companies and, and, and they were fraudulent. You know, the Journal of American Medical Association published these in, in, in 2015. Uh, it came out of University of California, San Francisco Medical School. They published this and showed that, you know, from the sugar company's own records, that there were, they paid off three Harvard professors to falsify data and publish fraudulent studies to make it appear mm. as if cholesterol caused heart disease when it was really sugar. And one of those professors was named head of the USDA, and it was he who authored and published the 1977 declaration. 